Hi folks, good evening and welcome to the Predator Apex Wisconsin Open here at the Ho-Chunk Gaming and Hotel Baraboo, Wisconsin. Our final match of the day will be a very good match. We got Brittany Bryant from Canada and the Duchess of Doom, Alison Fisher here. In the commentary booth for this match will be George Teachea and myself, Tim De Ruiter. What do you think here, George? Well, folks, <laughs> Alison. The Duchess of Doom and Brittany Bryant, the bombshell from Canada and the UK. They're about to break them up here in playing 10 ball, two sets. If they're tied in sets, it goes to a shootout. The race is to four. This young lady that's about to break the balls is sponsored by Maz. And uh, she is a Hall of Famer and a name associated with pool. If you're talking women's pool, this lady has owned it. Not just pool, I think she also played different... The snooker. She played snooker. She played I think snooker she played till English, um, English billiards. I think she's played many of it. She played snooker till 1994. And then came over to the U.S. and just robbed everybody. Yeah, Pretty I mean, I can, I can imagine. I mean, starting to play snooker, you're such a shot maker. That lady... Usually a good technique. ...holds everyone's respect. Brittany Bryant, you know, she's quite a force to contend with. She's out of Canada. She's a six, if I can read my own writing, 670 Fargo. She's ranked 33rd in the world. Allison is ranked sixth. Yeah, good safety here from Brittany Bryan. Using after the Fargo break. rate. I remember she got to the final in the Las Vegas Open last year, Brittany Bryan. So she's been getting pretty used to this format. Both ladies have been playing all the Pro B Series events, which of course is great for the for the tour, but also great for their purse, I guess. They've been doing pretty well. Well, they don't leave empty-handed. And look at this. Ooh. Yeah, there was a big scratch of the back, but Almost she, did. Got, she got it just perfect. Just right. Kicked the ball out. She's left a difficult return shot. If she cuts it in the corner, uh, there's a possibility of a scratch. I don't think it does, but she could cut this in the side. A difficult shot. Not for the Lama Heart. This is the a second round match. First round winners, actually. But uh, Allison drew a bye, and Brittany's uh, opponent was sick and could not make the tournament. So... This is their first match on the slick TV table. But both ladies are rather accustomed to being on the stream and on a TV table that doesn't play the same as, the as all the other tables which are practiced on. Allison starting with the bridge. Two ball to the side. Everything's open except the nine. Now, can she do something with the four to open them up? No. I was thinking maybe with the six. Because and the seven. straight across? Yeah, well, right. kind of depending on how you get on the six, but maybe shoot the six in the side, open up the ten and have the seven. Or she was trying to do it with the two ball and have the three, which I think is a little risky. Well, as you can see, she is now behind the ten nine, and the three ball has to jump. Just like you said. They are... In a pretty tough spot, though. Like, there's not many balls c nearby but the four, but then you will never get on the five, so. Yeah, she gave that a go, and it's going to have to settle for this this oh. uh, jump shot. I do expect her to be get close here, though. Allison is sponsored by Mez and plays with the Mez, with Mez equipment, so that's more likely one of their cues. As you can see on her shirt, she's also sponsored by Playcraft, Break Time Billiards, Sports Bar in Winston-Salem, and Jam Up Sportswear. In fact, she has the Allison Fisher line at Jam Up Sportswear. They actually have a booth here in Wisconsin and are also one of the sponsors for Q Sports International and our Vegas sponsor for, a Q, for um, the Pro Billiard Series. Some of the greatest people ever. Strong safety shot here. 
difficult because the being on the rail, length of the table, and then cutting the four is a tough jump. But then on the other side, kicking at it, it's kind of off the rail on both sides that it's also a difficult kick shot. She's going rail first and has called the four ball in the bottom left-hand corner she pocket. Can I try and go two rails? I think she was just trying to get there for a safety. Well, this will take care of the nine. Yeah. So the opening game here. And we have a stymie with the three balls. The four, nine, ten. And she'll probably just roll this four ball and put the cue ball up against the nine. Allison will have to come with a kick shot and whether she wants to kick long or kick short will be her decision. And looks like she's kicking long. This lady used to own ESPN. She was on there so much. The women had such a great tour. A lot of it thanks to her. They'd love to have that back. So would all of us. So I think first real opening shot for Brittany here. Has so far only been trying to play safe or has been playing safe. So yeah. four ball. If she can float it in, get to the center of the table, be perfect on the five. And that's exactly what she just rolled it in and She's go forward to the cue ball. The I was going to say, she was a little lower in the cue ball. I, wouldn't, I would I play top spin and just float it up. Just play comfortable to make the ball because the, the natural angle is going to go right for the five. Looking good here. Yeah, she reconsidered. Nice shot. Nice angle on the five and... Yeah, I'll, I mean, a lot of people would say that Alison Fisher is a favorite here. I think she is, but with real small margins. And I think also that if Brittany can have a good start, if she can get some games on the board, on the board early, then we might be in for a tweet. Then I think it would be a really interesting match. You know what I want to compare this to? We just had Federgorst and Jesse Ingle on this, this kind of. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of the same. Just I think this might be a little bit closer to that. Yes. In other words, a big difference in Fargo, but in these short races, I'm telling you, they both have the tools to get it done. Well, they both have won tournaments in their career. They both have experienced the pressure. They've been playing for a long period of time, so there's both pretty much seasoning. Two rails to get to the set uh, to the eight ball. Is yeah, that got I enough speed? I don't think so. I felt that she was overstretched and should have taken the extension. The like, I mean, Q uh, extension. The Q extension, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So she'll have to bank this. This is still an okay bank though. Just a hair of right to open up the A and. But yeah, you. Should, I mean. Those opportunities, like she just had with going from the seven to the eight, you cannot make mistakes like not she getting the. Cure she's banking up. this to the corner. I'd be banking it to the side. Well, she's just playing safe. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think she was just trying to make sure that she was not leaving something easy. Okay. I mean, not really a lot of harm done here. No. It's it's not bad. Yeah, Brittany's one of the top uh, WPBA players. She's in the top five. Mm. 
Not exactly sure how much she can see from the eight. She might always be able to kick from the back, the kick and stick. Send the eight two rails to the short rail, maybe with the ten nine. She can play the opposite sides, but then most likely she'll be hooked after. She's played the bank, trying to get the speed right to leave a very difficult shot, but yeah, the speed was missing there. Yeah, the speed, and she left her right in the front of the pocket. What a treat to commentate one of Alice's, well, one of Alice's matches. I think I've done one for Brittany Bryant once before, but not Allison Fisher, I'm not sure. And the first game looks like it's going to go to Brittany Bryant. goes to Brittany Bryan. John Lehman, our head referee and tournament director. Answering a couple of questions for Brittany. Probably making sure to let him know that don't throw any balls out on the table as long as the cue ball has not stopped. If it's rolling, don't touch a ball. Allison Fisher, uh, I believe she, um, her background is snooker. She played it till 1994 and then came up with nine ball. And she's been in the States as long, playing nine ball. It was quite, quite some time. I mean, she's a little bit before when I started playing pool, so I, I wouldn't know. That was like five years ago. I'm no. I'm yeah, I was going to say. Teasing, that's folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, you had me there. Tim had a, has had a pretty good long career playing pool. He's played a lot of juniors in Europe. I mean, last 12, 13 years, so Kay. I've been around for a bit, but yeah. Obviously, I miss a lot of names from back in the day. Yeah, in fact, uh, while you're watching, folks, in this, uh, in this, uh, folks, you've been making fun of me for that. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you'll catch a camera view of Bert Kinister in the audience, and if you if you know Bert, you, you know what he means to this game. If you don't know Bert, uh, Google him and take a look at some of his videos and workout routines that he has for uh, for pool, because they'll be very you'll find them very useful. It will improve vastly improve your game. Yeah, not so. Great shot from That's Brittany. That's him right the there. One. That's Mr. Kenister and Mrs. Kenister, I believe. But uh, in fact, after the last match I just had, we saw him in the audience. I went out there and thanked him for his videos and and the good that he did to my game. And what a, I'm telling you, once you see his uh, videos, you're going to hear him say, "I don't care who you are, I don't care where you are, you're hitting the balls too hard." For those of you watching and tuning in every day to watch these tournaments here at the Wisconsin Open, the Apex Wisconsin Women's Open and Men's Open, our first match, live stream match tomorrow will be at 1 p.m. Just the TV table will be at 1 p.m. But if you guys are still interested to see all the other matches, of course, going on in the tournament, because the other matches will start around 
9 or 10 a.m., make sure you go to tv.kazoom.com. It's pay-per-view, but you can watch whatever table we have in this room. So yeah. make sure you sign up. If you want to see your favorite players, then that's the way to go. And then you don't have to listen to Tim and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we giggle too much. Yeah. Well, uh, we're a little punchy, folks. Um, but uh, this is a great match for you. And uh, she's look, she's going to call the 10 and kick it to Spall. I don't blame her. Yeah, send the two ball up table. Maybe you make the 10. If not, you still make separation. And she hits the bottom side of the two. The cue ball travels down and could end up right where it's at. Ooh, oh, could end up right there. It. See? Ooh. Look at this for her result as well. What a great result. It was it was a, it was a well designed shot. I mean, she threatened the pocket. She ended up with a what I would call a pretty safe shot. Containing safety not going to get a lot. She's not going to get ball and hand out of it, but she's going to keep her from being offensive. And she is going to get ball and hand out of it. And on a shot like this, she should get ball and hand for the next two turns. She missed the ball, and then she scratched. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we just... <laughs> Let's see what she's got here. I think the three ball... Quite challenging. She might have to play for the three-seven combo. No, she's playing straight in. Look at this nice position she plays. Very Ellen Fisher-esque. Allison Fisher-esque. Mm, great shot. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you meant. That's what I meant. the short side here was super tough to get to the other side I like this now I think she will go to the right side of the six the high maybe a little bit of left to check the angle and to make pocketing the ball a little easier well now she's in line now, it's just a matter of staying in the line and closing out the last four balls on the table. Two rail position. I'm just going to let it come off the second I rail. I don't think she's going to go softly. Two rails. You don't think so? No, she usually plays the game pretty like, simple. She, yeah, she's really trying not to use too many rails, or at least most of the time I see her play, she looks like she's trying to do everything on cue ball speed. So this way, she was traveling a little bit through her positional yeah, area, but then yeah, she was just focused on having the right speed. And well, she's done well. She can go to the left side of the nine. She does clear off the table, tying things up, one apiece. Allison to break the balls after John gets done racking them up for her and cleaning the cue ball. Yeah, it all started with that great kick shot she's played. Great separation, almost hooked Brittany full ball. Yeah, calling the 210, but uh, she was playing it pretty much knowing she was going to get safe there.
We are predator. We are playing on Predator nine foot apex tables. The Arcadia cloth, the Predator Arcos balls, the Predator arrow rack. And even the Predator Bridge, the arena lights displaying the whole arena. There's seven lights above this table. You can see the reflection of the lights on the balls when they're racked. The balls are nice and cleaned after every match. A ball to the side, not quite. Oh, that one ball. One ball, oh. five ball, nothing. One ball, no. Well, but it did get to that little awkward spot to where you know if you cut it just wrong you're look scratching straight in the corner. Look at all the balls that threaten the pocket. The seven, the one on the side, the five here. I mean the one in the side oh, also. Oh you had the eight tracking yeah. there too, yeah. She threatened quite a few pockets and didn't beat any of them up. Now, is she going to bank the three ball, or is she going to find a way to play safe and, and, and incorporate the use of the seven ball here? Yeah, I was thinking she can still draw. She can draw and the get center of the table. That, that's yeah. okay enough. She doesn't have to get straight. Just to the right of where she is now. She didn't she hit, did it hit it hard it enough. Yeah. Well, she also hit it a little thin, thinner than she yeah. could have hit it. Hmm. I'm going to cut the three very thin and try to put the cue ball behind the four. Yeah, that or bank the three to the short rail on the left and bring the cue ball two rails behind the, I think it was ten, yeah, behind the ten or the nine, like at that area. Well, that's, looks like that might be what she's doing because she's hitting the bottom side of the three. Well, she hit it like what you said, but she needed to hit it a little better than that. But this, you know, it doesn't really sell out. Um, Allison will find a, another containing safety. I'm not sure if she can try to pocket the ball. Well, there's no sense in trying to pocket because she'll have horrible position. Yeah, the there's four. not going to be yeah, much after, no, yeah. There's no future. Well, or playing the carom on the four, then there was also not much future. Yeah. She played a great shot here. She's going to miss. I don't, I don't I even think she has blocked the one rail as well. The kick? Yeah, going one rail, just right. over the long rail. I'm thinking that she can kick and send the ball just past the side pocket towards uh, below the 9-10. Nine, nine, yep, two rails. Yeah. Hit it straight in the face. Now she's going to hit the bottom side of it, so that it goes towards the four, or the left side of it. She's going two rails. Oh, she's called in the corner and oh. Did she call that corner? Yeah. Oh, wow. So she actually went for well, uh, actually good shot because uh, she she had posi she ended up with position and was very close to making the ball. Yeah, that draw stroke. Oh, she's foul. called a foul. She moved yeah, the four she ball. Yeah, she moved the four, yeah. And like the lady she is, just pushed it out and said foul.
Players on her 30 second shot clock. And is it going to come? Oh, nicely done. Now, oh, Brittany's looking pretty solid here in this rack. Tied at one. She's looking to make it two to one. Take a one game lead. Yeah, like I say, if she can just keep getting an advantage a little bit, then she can push Allison to where she's feeling not too great and she's down all the time. She didn't really get great on the seven. It's okay though. She can still cut it to the top right, well, top left corner in this view and play the eight in the same corner. Oh, she's going to the corner with this. I thought she might go to the side, but as I see this angle, no way. Yeah, nice shot. I might play this ball in the corner. The eight ball. No, that's not too much angle, huh? No, I think you can. Can she you hold play it on the same side? If you play a smooth draw yeah. stroke, then yeah, you should be fine. If you're going to be jabby, then... Yeah, there we go. And especially with the new newer cloth, that draw is going to catch really fast. So, yeah, good shot. This is very much looking like a two to one lead for Brittany Bryant. After she makes his 10 ball. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, two to one and she's she does have a pretty good start so far. The only mistake she has made was thinning, trying to thin the one ball and not hitting it. That's where Allison ran out. Besides that, she's been holding on pretty well. Well, John uh, racks the balls. I'll run through our sponsors real quick. Apex, Predator Group, Q Sports International, U.S. Pro Billiard Series partners are Medalla Light, Kamui, Rums of Puerto Rico. And as Tim mentioned, if there's a favorite player, use Kazoom. All the tables are streaming. The brackets are on ProBilliardSeries.com. And Brittany leading two to one, breaking the 10 ball, playing the one in the side, a little bit long. Long shot on the one. Open look, but it ain't no gimme. ball and come straight across just don't get behind the four oh yeah and that's the thing I think she did play no spin on that and because the new cloth still slides the moment it hits the rail it curves a little bit forward that's to where some players like to play this always with a hair of outside to make sure it doesn't make that little bend this is just exactly what happened. She wasn't trying to get close to the seven. She's going to go rail first here. I like this shot. I think uh, I think she executes it. I think it's going to work. A little shy. Still, no worries though. Tough layout here. Obviously, with the 7, 9, and 10 being on the same long rail.
sub ball is the only thing to worry about here. Got to figure that out. She can come off the six and push the seven up towards the side pocket, past the side for a shot in the corner. To solve that piece of the puzzle. I'm not sure if with this angle, if she can still run into the seven right now. Not sure, it might be a little bit too much angle. Yeah. Doesn't want to do it real hard. Just push it past the nine to get it in front of the pocket. Now she has a really nice shot on the six. Yeah, she made it worse. Or did she just turn it into a 7-10-9 combo? Because it does look pretty close to me. If she can get just next to it and kind of straight, you don't want to be off angle and anything, but if you can get it to where the cue ball's almost lined up straight with it, it's either that or leave a good angle on the six to open it up. And she got it. She has the angle. Well, still a little straight though. I thought she had the angle that after looking she, at this here, she it's a can, tougher. But it's not ideal. Or at least it d doesn't feel ideal to me. That's yeah, she's going after it. She's called for an extension. I also think it over. She could play for the bank. Play for the bank on the seven. You got the eight over the pocket. She can hold the cube. Well, yes, she can. She can hold the cube. Take the bank. Good call. Thanks. And that's exactly what she did. And then she could play it if she just plays it soft to medium speed. If she doesn't make it, then the eight is blocking the pocket for the seven and then no harm done. Just a little insurance. Well, she's gonna need the insurance because she did miss the ball. She hit it quite firm too. She's left a tough shot, but she hit it a little bit more firm than I expected her to do. Yeah, and I feel if she's gonna cut the seven, she's gonna be awful close to that eight. The cue ball's gonna run really close to the eight ball. She took the gamble and she's okay. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Yeah, great chance here. She doesn't really have to force the cue ball or anything. Play Just pocket speed, it. float Just it in, it. and you're on the eight. Just use the speed to make the ball, and all of a sudden you're on the hill. If you're Brittany Bryant. On the rail, eight feet away. Oh, she still kind. She put That's some punch on there. I felt like she put some punch. If you look at yeah. where the cue ball ended up, there was no need to do that. Yeah, those shots. You know, when you're when you're pure stroking, when you're uh, really on your game, you make those. Just so much stuff spin. Just. Barely drop it in. That's yeah. Oh, this is this might be warp speed into the side. No, she went to the corner pocket and playing safe early. Oh, she and did not get it either. Okay, this is a lot more difficult than the seven ball she had before, but it's still another visit to the table. She can cross the seven ball and make it to the middle of the opposite rail. That's what she was trying to do. Yeah, she. Oh, it worked this it way. It worked this way. It worked just well, the other way. Well, did it work this way? There is a cut. There is on a the cut. Seven. And I think Allison will go after it because with the table being fairly new, new cloth, that'll slide. Oh, that no. pocket's big. No, she's not playing it. She's she, not. 
Now, well, she dropped down pretty fast. I don't think she did. Or, oh, well, maybe she, okay. Uh, well, I thought she would maybe take a little bit more time to chase after a ball like that, but. She hits these balls very, very yeah. nice. Straight in the hole, very nice smooth. shot. And she's turned this around. She's the one now looking to tie it up. As she had to before, because Brittany got the first game. And then took a lead, and now it's Allison's turn to catch back up. Two each, or at least two each should be coming up. With Ellison shooting that turn ball, that's like money in the bank. So it looks like player break. Alison Fisher wants to leave the arena. Well, well, she leaves the arena. Left. Straight to the left. <laughs> yeah, well. She just walked up to us and asked us where the restroom was. Well, we had to help her out. Well, folks, we're going to go to a little, uh, little commercial break. We're going to bring you some shots, I believe, here. Folks, we'll have a little talk here between the two of us because no players has left the arena. And yeah, we had quite impressive view of the venue just earlier. This is the arena, of course, a fantastic arena. All Predator products, Predator Apex Stable, Predator Bridges, Predator Arcadia Cloth, the newest version. Place phenomenal. Tried a couple days ago, I really loved it. And we got that those perfect Predator Arena Lights, my favorite as well. And I think I'm forgetting something. No, the Predator Arcus 2 balls, of course, and the Predator Arrow Rack to wreck the balls. And also the bridge. And also, don't forget the Predator Bridge. That was the number two, I said. Oh, well, then, see? <laughs> now you know I don't listen. <laughs> stay focused, stay focused. Okay, so... Allison got back to... The Arena. She actually was pretty fast too. They have officially they have five minutes. So I think she's just trying to regroup a little bit. Here we have the arena lights. No shadows on the table. Clear colors on the balls. Just look at how nice this arena looks. Do you not if you look at this, do you not want to play right now? Like, I feel like playing right now just by looking at this arena. Are you challenging me to play? Always. Okay. <laughs> you know <Let's> play. it. <laughs> I didn't bring a cue, but I'll just borrow one. No problem. Uh, Tim's quite the player from Holland. And, uh, our sponsors for the event, of course, as he just mentioned, are Apex, Predator Group, Q Sports International. 
Medalla Lake, Kamui, and Rums of Puerto Rico. The Predator Pro Billiard Series in 2023 tour consists of 17 events held in U.S., Austria, and Puerto Rico with a total prize fund of $1.8 million. They've gone up quite a bit and keep building with more sponsors coming aboard. We now have Billiard TV aboard where they uh, highlight our matches and they're on quite a bit. I think they're on like 24-7 pool. Both ladies back in the arena. Allison lining up the break. She is just tied it up at two apiece. Breaking from the center, playing the two balls behind the one into the side pockets. Or anything. Well, she'll settle for anything, but that's what she's playing. The nine ball went straight at the pocket, just oh, shy, but it went in the, the corner. corner. Yeah. And that works, like you said, or anything. And the one ball looks like it'll go by the two. So she's left. Uh, the only problem she's going to have is making this one ball because I'm not sure how much room she has to go by the two and then a 5-7 combo. Oh, four. Look at the 4-10. Can she, can she slide the four ball by the 10? Well, and then the five doesn't really go past the seven. Nice feel here. Yeah. So the beginning is okay, but then afterwards it's going to get difficult. And here's a lady that can make difficult look easy. I'm not sure if she would even consider shooting a 4-10 combo or just shooting the four ball past the 10 and sliding it off the rail. It looks well, like she, it goes. She, she might have to be super close to the four and also preferably straight. And then she drops in the four and then she will have a very tough shot on the five because of the combo there. Yeah. So I do not like that option. I might have to go for that 4-10 combo. And the four ball will track towards the seven. So uh, oh. Oh, I like this a lot. She's ended up pretty well on this four ball to shoot that 410 combo. The four will track towards the seven, so she doesn't have to sell it out. They could get behind the seven. Is it going to come over far enough? She's just going to slide it right by the 10 and play safe. Interesting safety. Very simple, effective. Will she just kick one rail at that four ball? I kind of like kicking the, from the two rails in the upper part of the table at it. It's a nice line to the pocket. Brittany has called her extension. There's one of those predator bridges we were talking about with the bat wing on there. Well, I think she has left four on just trying to figure out can she go three possible four rails around to get on that five ball. Five ball does go now, but where has she pushed the seven? I think it does go. So this is the opportunity for Brittany Bryan to get on the hill in this first set. Playing the playing position for the five in the same pocket. Now having come up for the six, it looks like the ten the seven clears the ten. It does. In which case, if she can get the cue ball where it's at now for position on the six. She has a nine line to get on the seven. Nice line. But I would highly recommend making the five first. Wow. 
She left it out quite a bit there on the on the right side. Yeah, I was surprised to see her get so far away from the five ball, even though the four was pretty good starter in front of the pocket. Well, Allison was probably surprised too, but very grateful for the. Well, this is not she great left. either. She will not be happy. Looks like she's straight or running into the temple. And if she's running into the. Ooh, that's going to sad run into a little hard and slide down, but no. Oh, she was able to come right by. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Well, she did still run into that 10. Mm -hmm. Did she? Oh, this is not steep ideal. Cut. This is a steep cut. And judging by the speed, she, yeah, she's playing safe. I was going to say she will have to go up and down and then back up. So, oh, wow. I mean, if you try to do that, that's no, no, more saying the odds of having that happen to you are like really low. Did she give it up? Yes, she did. Wow. And she it's such a big game, too. Like, this is a really important rack. It's on the hill. And she was gifted those balls and got a little oh. funny on the seven. Needs a friendly bomb. Look at this. That's not very friendly. That's not very friendly at all. I'm going to stop the cue ball. I'm, I'm going to wind up on this and make sure I don't don't double hit it, but I'm going to try to three four rail this 10 ball to the middle of the head rail. And stop the cue ball there if I can. She's just going to bank it over, I think. She tried to, well. She tried to cut. It's going to pay a price here. Well, how much of a price? This spins in. Especially on this new cloth, this spins in. Oh, wow. What is going on here? It's 10 o'clock at night in Wisconsin. So there's not much going on? That's what you're trying to say? Pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's closed. <laughs> okay, so Brittany Bryan gets on the hill after some pretty shocking moments Su here. Surprising shots. Yeah. They were nothing easy to begin with, so. For those of you that think that being in shape to play pool is unnecessary, when you spend 12 hours in the pool hall and you don't look like Tim DeRider. Um, yeah, sure. It can be wearing. And those are signs. Breaking on the hill, Brittany Bryant to take this first set. Allison Fisher in her chair, just wanting to get to the table to prevent that. Oh, she got very close to making the one in the side. Well, very close. She's also come very close to really leaving a fairly easy run out. Well, I think she did. Yes. But leaving it and completing it are two different things at this at this hour. Well, and especially after what we just seen. That's my whole point. Yeah. You know, exactly. after, yeah, after making a couple mistakes like that, not a lot of people are able to still play well. Well, this is one lady that when she makes mistakes like that, she's going to come back with a vengeance. That's what champions do. Just 
Avoid the avoid the nine. Coming down for the for the four, just track the cue ball in line with the ten. So you have an angle to go from the five to the six. And now the two rails for the seven. Two rail follow on the five for the f six and then the seven in the side. The eight ball, I don't believe, goes by the ten, so she's going to have to go from the seven to the eight in the side. Or she can roll just forward a little bit if she can get where she's at right now for the seven and play the eight ball in the corner that she's standing. Yeah. And that's, that's where she's going to be, too. She's going to be shooting the eight in the side. Put the cue ball on the spot. Land the cue ball on the spot. on that line. Yeah, it worked out great. Yeah. Yeah, we might be in for some late night drama right here. Yeah, a little hill hill action. Double hill. But we got two balls to go. Double hill. With Allison Fisher breaking. Yeah, but Brittany Bryan easily can do the same after a dry break, so she will have to make a ball or at least not sell out. Now these ladies have traded off games. Neither one has won two games in a row. Brittany won the first, and so on. They traded games. Breaking from the middle again. She was successful in making the ball the last time she broke from here. Pretty well, too. Just wasn't able to close it. Little pop. A little pop to the oh side, yeah, but made the one. She did lose the cue ball there, but what a result she's got right here, right now. Well. Two balls in the break. And a shot, open shot on the two. Something that she should, you know, she's 98% to pocket. <laughs> she's got to come back past the five. Oops. Or just go for the corner. Because she's got too much of an angle to come straight back. Yeah, four in the corner is okay still. Now the balls were spread so good after the break, she needs to clear this. If she can get straight in on this four ball for the corner pocket, she's in business. Oh, well. She's okay. It's not straight in for a stop shot, but she's got enough angle to come over to play the five ball to play the five ball. Well, she's fine. She can slide and pick her pocket. It's 
exactly what I mean. And now up for the six. I feel she's a little bit in between here. Obviously, she's going to cut it in the side because that's where she can maneuver the cue ball a little bit more with, but... Just has to stay away from hitting the ten. Beautifully she's done. She's going to be straight. Well, almost straight here. She's okay with that because she's coming back with the seven. In the side. Or she can follow. looking very focused here and good to complete this break and run to close out set number one. Two balls away. Goes Allison Fisher wins the first set for the three after a big struggle this set. And yeah, they traded punches, they traded games all the way down to the end, and Alice <laughs> puts two games together, ended up with a break and run to close out the set. I think we'll go to a little commercial here and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. The Apex Wisconsin Women's Open. Look at this beautiful view. Predator Arcus, two balls. The Predator Arena lights shining right through them. I think both players are ready in the arena, but John Lehman, we've seen him just leave the arena, so maybe he went to go take a little bathroom break. Which, of course, you know, like, it's necessary, so I get it. There you go. The future. The future. Steal his popcorn. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad he's enjoying himself yeah. watching pool. I mean, sitting right next to Bert Kenister. I wonder if that's his grandson. Maybe. Yeah, they sat him right in between. You know, that could very well be. Uh, in fact, uh, I think it was yesterday that young man was sitting next to it. Who could, what could be his father on the on his left there, sitting next to the couple, and he was just leaning up against his dad, watching pool, very interested in it too. And there's that picture that uh, Tim was just talking about over the balls, and here's Brittany Bryan opening up the second set with a break, and there goes the ball. The one ball goes in off the two into the corner. No shot. No shot on the two. There's a purple four in the middle. Yeah, 
so she has left a very thin contact on the two but it's also super close with the double kiss i'm going to take this shot and i'm going to i'm going to kick that ball right towards the four real soft just tie up the two four No, she's not. Yes, she. No, she's not. It looked like it was going to go by the nine <laughs> to tie it up, but it didn't. Oh. Well, at least she's not selling out straight away. That's the main thing. She's going to cut the two, bring the cue ball three rails behind the three, four, and the ten. Just like that. That two ball came off the rail a little more. And now what's Brittany going to do? Bank the two up and try to leave the cue ball behind the four? Danger of a scratch there with that shot. Anything hitting anything on the right of the two ball could scratch. Fire it in is what she's going to do. Coming out straight across. Yeah, beautiful shot. Just was really tough to get on the three ball from where she was. But at least she's got the initiative to turn around the game, play play a good safety somewhere. I'm going to try to bump the eight ball with the cue ball, and that way you're stuck behind the five. Maybe the three behind the six nine, just in case. Just right here. Oh, this, this is, is all good. it takes. Yeah. Oh, beautiful shot. Nice shot from Brittany Bryan. Quite a shot. Hit by Allison. It's going to sell out right for the side pocket. Four ball, two rails to the four for position in the upper corner. Five ball lies straight across. The six ball is trouble. She has to get uh, kind of in line where the cue ball is now for the six in the corner. Just a little bit more right spin to run into that 10 ball. Does she still have the 4? She still has it, I think. But can she oh, get if, position if on the 5? If not, she can play the kick and stick. So there is a backup. Looks like she's going for it. This is game number one for the second set. A set that Brittany desperately needs to win. You don't want to start off your first match, although technically it's her second, and go into the one loss side. Because now you have to win four. Instead of just winning three to get into the final 16. She's shooting the four in the bottom left corner. Last minute call the extension. Yeah, not she's choosing the bottom left corner to have a better shot at the 5-8 combo after. But it's not a gimme though. Like you gotta strike it well. This is a Well, the way that ended up, it looked like she played it two ways. Yeah, maybe she was playing the short side of the five, but I think that would make it only more difficult. The more speed you give, the more 
the four might hang up in the pocket. Mm. True. Yeah, that uh, with pocket speed that might have dropped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then she could have played the five eight combo. So surprised to see this way. Just gonna kick one reel. <laughs> Call the extension. Can she go by that seven? She can go by the seven and kick I one reel. So. Yeah. Even if she aims further and then with low left, so low inside, she can make it bend so short. Uh, she could also, you know, she catches the rail first on the bottom rail, she could slide up for a shot on the t on the five. That's way short. And now Allison is going to either probably play shape for the five eight combo. And will she just head straight up the rail? Straight. Yeah, up the rail because she's going up table. Oh, she's going to open up the six. What a great shot, Allison. The Duchess of Doomed. Doom. Just showed some of her stuff there, folks. Well played. Soft shot. Oh, she's going to come up and down. Okay, I thought she was just going to roll it and go right by the nine ball and have the seven nice and short. Looking pretty solid through this rack. Taking ball in hand. After that last, played a good safety and got ball in hand. Actually, uh, she missed the ball, didn't she? And got behind the seventh. Yeah. But if she had played it two way, then she played a good shot. This tend to take the one game lead that opens up the second set. And lead she does. Appreciative crowd is thinning out. It is late. It is 10.30 here in Wisconsin. Baraboo, Wisconsin at the Ho-Chunk Gaming Casino. And the Wisconsin Dells. to the same plan she's been breaking alike. If we haven't done our accounting yet and let you know what the prize fund is, we're looking at $60,000 in prize fund, 17,000 for first, 10 for second, five for third, 32, 50 for fifth, through eighth, and um, then ninth through sixteenth, and the final sixteen is twelve five, twelve fifty, thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. For this women's tournament. And this cue ball is getting closer and closer to the seven ball. The closer he gets, the less the chances of hitting the one. I 
think she's going to hit just above the side pocket with a lot of right spin to try to make the pocket the one ball. Yeah, she's called it. She's going we'll have to high. play she, with a lot of speed, yeah, though. She's going on the opposite side and holding it up. Yes, yeah, she is. I'd, I'd like to come in just above the side. Oh, and uh, where does that four ball end up? Is that a four ten combo? Well, what do you we'll think? Take a look. I haven't seen it yet. The eight ball, the two ball won't be there anymore. So does the four pass the eight? The answer is no. Does the four pass the ten? I think the four does pass the eight. But well, let's see what Brittany thinks. She's the one at the table. She's gonna get perfect on the two. Oh, she's bumping the four even better for the ten ball. <laughs> now, I, now I like the four ten. Oh, Just okay. those two inches that she moved the ball. I like the four ten. to get on the three. Especially if you go by the line, but she's all right. Yeah, I think she actually turned out really good even though she hit the three ball on the way out, uh, the five ball on the way out. Got this, get to the center of the table and then you got, you do have the four ten combo. It's sure. not, it's not a gimme, but it's, it is doable. It's a high percentage. Oh, need to she stay doesn't away scratch. From the rail. Yeah. Okay, now it's a lot more difficult. It is. She's further away from it. A uh, little bit of an angle involved. But it's something I would go for. And I think Brittany will also. Pretty good try, but yeah, good tries don't really count. Let's see what's saying. I don't think I better say it. So the three ball combination here. Uh, I think you have to shoot it. No, I think rail first. Into the five. Put the four still there. Yeah. Rail. No. Four and two. D no, I'm shooting a four, eight, five. She's shooting safe. <coughs> she just told us both we were crazy. Well, I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I didn't think that combo was too tough. Like the distances were not too big. Well, see, the reason I would have gone rail first off that five is the, cu the four ball is going to go two rails up to the middle of the table, and now you're going to have an easy shot on the four. Is she going to duck behind the eight? Uh, no, she's going to scratch. <laughs> she was trying to duck behind the eight. Got the double kiss. Sent her into the five and into the pocket. Got to catch that. The six ball is hard, hard play. I, I would actually try to move the six right now. 
Yeah, run into cuba. it. Yeah, sure. I like it, yeah. It's because it's already too tough to hold the cue ball anyways. Why not just have a comfortable stroke and let the cue ball run yeah. into the six? Uh, I don't think she can scratch in the side, so sending it over there, she's fine. She can't mess it up any worse than it already is. Well, she ran into it. And she just put it in a nice place for Allison. <laughs> Nice and soft for the six. The seven's tough. Does it go by the eight? I think it does. Yeah, the seven slides by the eight. Well, not she's if she's dead straight on the six. You know what I might do here being st dead straight? I'd bring Draw the cue ball the back bank. for the bank. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's the only option. That looks nice. Like that option. And, I mean, if she gets that ball four inches below where it is now, it's a bank that just about everybody would have fun. Oh, she fun didn't with. really get perfect. No. She'll have to let the kilo go here. Just a hint of fight she, English. She can hold the cue ball if she would want to, but then it gets super scary. Uh, just run this ball. It'll come up to the middle of the middle where she can cut the eight easily. And if it doesn't, well, then she can, uh, she can cut this ball and go two rails for the nine. Or bank the eight. <coughs> she called the bank, I think. Yeah, but that's... Money. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, money. That's money. <laughs> well, I, when I seen it leave, I wasn't sure if it went in, but nice shot. And make the nine, you're guaranteed to be on the ten, and then she's getting the big lead on the board. I think the first. This is the first two game lead. Yeah. No more sharing, she said. You know what she really said there? With two bank shots in the game, in the same game. I'm the champion and this is why. Yeah, it looks like Brittany's game has been Dropping a little bit lower as well. Probably just because it's starting to get late, they're getting a low energy. I see Allison Fisher is also drinking something like an orange juice or something with syrup. So there must be some reason. A actually, for the, it. the color of, the f of what she's drinking looks very much like this energy fizz that I drink. I drink an uh, Arbonne energy fizz that's a lot of vitamin B12, and I mix it with water, and that's exactly what it looks like. That's exactly yeah, what it so looks it's like. It's, it's a mango it flavor. <laughs> and uh, and that actually works very well. So Some energy. Little thing. Brittany going up to the table to break the ball. And Allison says, this is an alternate break. <laughs> yeah, sit <well> down. <laughs> now, see, this is a polite way to tell a player to sit down. <laughs> and they'll get a smile out of it. <laughs> and she just pretty much told her, you know, it is late. <laughs> And I can see I mean, this is exactly what I just yeah. said. I yeah. said both are trying yep. to get their energy out of something. Well, and Bert Kenister's back there just kind of laughing, hearing the conversation because he's standing right behind him. He can hear it all. <laughs> Great job, ladies. And is there anything going threatening a pocket? Nothing even threatened a pocket there. Nice cut on the one for the pocket. Oh, the two ball threatened. The and you want to hit this with just a little bit of inside English to try to come right at that 4-3 with the cue ball. Not sure if it's going to grab that much. 
on the short rail? Um, well, actually, that's not enough of a cut to really hold it. So, yeah, you're probably right. I don't think she well, can hold it. Well, it's going to slide as well that yeah. much. So good the point, thing is play good point. Main thing, main thing is play that soft speed so you well, she at least it. get to see it too. Yeah. But, well, this is not really going to hurt the rack, though. Like, yeah, that, that, that came out safe. Little cut on the inside of the one, bring around two rails. Yeah, safety behind the, the four balls. Well, this might not be good enough. Caught a little thin. She might be able to send the one ball around four rails and get the cue ball behind the congestion of table. Just cut it real thin and just end up right where you're at. Too hard. Why? She's not. She didn't want to take a chance of a bad hit. Or the appearance of a bad hit. I don't blame her. That was tight. I think Brittany goes for a safety here too. Well, or she's going to have that pretty much cut on the two ball inside, but really sure how she how she's gonna get from that cut to the three ball if she follows it oh she was able to okay I didn't think that ball would go but now this is the bigger shot though going I don't think she can go around the angles really going away from the three just go two rails end up in between the six and the ten and take a longer three yeah. follow the cue ball up for the four on the side if she what is she playing a bank she's avoiding oh, okay yeah this that was aggressive yeah interesting here she can pocket the she just has to come past the four Because I wouldn't mess with drawing this ball a little, or even trying to go to the rail between the pocket and the ball. So I would just follow this and go just past the four, just like that. Oh, little she's lost the cue ball. Yeah, a little too far. Well, not really. She got a back cut on the three, and then the cue ball into the nine. But uh, it's a further than what she wanted, so she lost the cue ball. Thanks, George. <laughs> yeah, it's just I feel like she has not been really getting the speed that well. Like she's really been looking for for her game during these two sets. I don't know about looking for her game, but you make a good point. I think she's looking for the speed of the table. She's still not quite acclimated yeah, wh wh to it. Which is a big part of your game, yeah. I think. I mean, if you don't get the speed right, then you're going to be all over the place. And this is definitely, yeah, the only thing I like is running into that night. I don't really see uh. any sense leaving the cue ball in between the 8 and the 10 and then trying to get back on the 5 down table. Those are extremely difficult shots. Well, let's see what she does with it. I think she can just kind of slide over by the 8 Three and seconds. have the 4. Okay. Well, that she was, that you was said 3 seconds, three she seconds. only used 2. Yeah. Now, to get on this five ball, this is tough. I think she can just just follow this ball with a little bit of right English. Oh, 
So from here, from this angle, it looks like it, the corner's in the way. From the other angle I just saw, she just uh, was tight. She could come all the way back like that, but not to make the ball. That's a good shot. She's left Brittany in a world of hurt here. Because, you know, when you say if the safety's harder, shoot the shot. Well, they're both very hard here. She's not going to be happy here. I mean, Brittany. She would like to have nibbled the other side of the 10. Now, if she can reach this, she will probably hit the right side of the five and send the cue ball around those two balls. Oh, just the opposite. She used them as cover. See if Brittany can execute this two rail escape. Kick into the short rail and the long rail and right at the five. Well, this is big. She's got these six balls uh, to go ahead 3-0 and close out the match. Stun over for the seven. Stun over for the seven here. Cut the eight in the side. Like, it's it's a really good roadmap here yeah. to be on the hill and to be able to close the match. Next track or later, of course, but... Well, we, we have seen 3-0 map uh, leads wiped out, but not today. Have we seen it today? Well, not so many. Joshua Filler. Well, he just won 4-0, 4-0. He didn't wipe out any leads. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Fetter did. Fetter, uh, uh, it was tied at one against Jesse Engel, and he won three games in a row. There's a couple matches that we've seen that in. Allison looking good to get on the hill here to win, be one game away from winning her match, moving on and sending Brittany to the one loss side in this Predator Pro Billiard Series event. Second stop of six in the U.S. The Predator Pro Billiard Series does consist of 17 events held in the U.S., Austria, Puerto Rico, for a total purse of $1.8 million. Upcoming events are Michigan in September 1924, 19th through the 24th, Ohio, October 11th through the 15th, and Puerto Rico, San Juan, in November 6th through 12th, all in conjunction with the Michigan State Championships in Battle Creek, the Ohio State Championships in Wilmington, and the Caribbean State Championships in San Juan, Puerto Rico. El sufficient. El Fisher waiting to break. You were just going to say the same thing, probably. 
No, I wasn't going to say Allison went fishing. Oh. Well, she's going to be fishing to make a ball here. Well, she's fishing to get this last rack and close out the, uh, uh, the set. She's one rack away. Measly 10 balls, or if she can get something close to the 10, a quick combo, the spin on the cue ball. Still spinning. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, she didn't really hit it square. In the cue ball and on the one. Well, the two ball is not really available. The five ball has half the pocket blocked. And you can see the size of the pockets right here, how this five ball hanging over it pretty much blocks the two ball from sliding in, I think. I think she needs to go for the five. I, I do. don't think that I two ball too. goes. Oh, okay. Never mind. Straight and all. I was with you. That's what I was going to point out. But oh, it's a little bit awkward how that five ball got to be just behind yes. the cue ball. It's not a comfortable shot, this. Cutting the combination, playing it probably on the soft side. Playing it with soft speed and then being jacked up over the five, the orange five. Okay. And another carom coming up. She doesn't have to. I would. That's high percentage. That 10 ball looks like high percentage to me. It looks like somebody just handed me a steak knife and a fork and said, have at it. Going at it rail first. Didn't work out, but I agree with the shot. You're welcome to disagree. <laughs> I was more wondering what the shot right here, the three ball is, the, 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 the nice shot, because she's going to try and stun maybe off the rail, but oh, she hit that good. No, more saying, I was wondering if this was a possible shot because she did not have that much angle. I like what she did. She could, I think she could have also just followed for the five in the bottom right hand corner, in the bottom corner. And that's what yeah, you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah. like thinking you, two different one? things. So ah, it's I got you. That was the look on the face I had, yeah. So probably stop shot here for the seven inside. She could draw back, but maybe she's trying not to do too much at the moment. Yeah. Already queuing over the eight, so just play a stop shot. Looks like she's going to be able to close this out. This looks awfully nice for Allison. She's in line and about to get in real good line. A little higher. Well, she well, did she get just enough to? Just no, I don't think so. Just has to go to the rail. She'll take what she has, put a little bit of right English on it and spin towards the nine. Yeah, if she can get to where the eight is right now. Oh, she's, she's going to cross that's even better. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, she's dead perfect on this nine, so. Oh, this will look like the day's done. Day two is over. Allison Fisher here to advance to the next winner's round. Brittany Bryant will have to go through the loser's bracket to make herself back into the last 16. That's off to Allison Fisher. Congratulations, Allison.
This was George Teachea and myself, Tim de Ruiter, and we'll be back tomorrow. So, not at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. I heard around noon or 1 p.m. Something along those lines. So make sure you we'll check all our social medias, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you then. Good night. Good night, folks.